It has been a tough week for Democratic presidential hopeful Hillary Clinton. If email questions and sagging poll numbers weren't enough, one member of her party has some harsh words for her. Tonight, Keller at Large takes on the Clinton campaign. Did you try to wipe the entire, so that there'd be no email, no personal, no official? Well, well my personal emails are my personal business. From a painful press conference on the email flap to polls that show her losing ground to the likes of Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump, it's been a bad week for the Democratic frontrunner. And it just got worse. Was it a mistake for your party to anoint her as the nominee so early oh, on? I don't think anybody's been anointed. It's no secret Clinton wants and needs Senator Warren's support. But in our interview, she wasn't off. Me. You don't have qualms about her, this email business, her, her unimpressive campaign so far? You know, what I want to see is I want to see all of the presidential candidates lay out where they stand on key issues. Sanders, with backing from many who wanted Warren to run, oh. has been drawing big crowds and decent poll numbers. And Warren seems more moved by that than anything she's seeing from Clinton. This government has been seized by those with money and power, and it's time for change. And whether Washington knows that or not, I guarantee the American people know that, and I think that's what we're seeing. You see Sanders and Trump tapping into that? I, I see them every time they talk about issues as tapping into people want to hear who you're going to run this government for. Campaigns have their ups and downs and whatever warning signs the polls may hold for the Clinton campaign, she remains a clear favorite to win the Democratic nomination. But Senator Warren's stiff arm in our interview speaks to partisan disappointment with Clinton's performance so far and reflects how far she has to go to earn the United Party support that once seemed automatic. John Keller at large, WBZ News.